Jill Weatherhead. I am a physician scientist here, meaning I am a practicing clinical physician at Baylor College of Medicine and Texas Children's Hospital. And I'm also a scientist here, so I run my own basic science laboratory. I serve as the assistant dean of our National School of Tropical Medicine. Well, I'm Cameron Brown. I'm the, my official title is assistant professor in the Department of Pathology and Immunology. Um, but my work is primarily as the medical director for the microbiology lab at the county hospital here in, in Houston, Texas. So further along in my career, I got more and more interested in microbiology, the actual hands-on techniques. I mean, I started to listen to these podcasts. One in particular is called This Week in Parasitology. And one of the uh, frequent guests on there was Peter Hotez. I, my name is Dr. Peter Hotez, and I'm a Professor of Pediatrics and Molecular Virology here at Baylor College of Medicine, where I'm also Dean of our National School of Tropical Medicine and Co-Director of our Texas Children's Hospital Center for Vaccine Development. And I've devoted my life to developing new technologies, especially vaccines for tropical infections. And relevant to our discussion, I'm also one of the few Baylor College of Medicine professors that's also a professor at Baylor University. I have this relationship with Lee Nort, the, the Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences at, at Baylor University, and together we've done a lot of good stuff. So we are a independent school within Baylor College of Medicine. So we are, like there is a medical school, there is a graduate school, there is a national school of tropical medicine. So pretty much everywhere people are confused of the relationship between Baylor University and Baylor College of Medicine. So. It is, they are two separate entities completely, where the Baylor University mostly focusing on undergraduate and, and graduate students. Baylor College of Medicine is professional schools, so medical school, graduate school. We do outbreak investigation of tropical infectious diseases all over the Western Hemisphere, including in Texas and the Gulf Coast, as well as on the African continent uh, in Asia and elsewhere. But we also have a big educational component. We do training for physicians, for or graduate scientists, but also trying to create something for an undergraduate experience to really launch their career in tropical medicine. Our Summer Institute of Tropical Medicine is a foundation course. So our goal with this course is to introduce undergraduate students to the concept of tropical medicine and global health. So it's really welcoming to anybody, any undergraduate student who's interested in those topics, no matter what your long-term career choice is going to be. We really take a step back and we say, what will students need to know as they go out into their careers that would be applicable no matter which path they choose? Each day is different. So each day we do didactic work, meaning lectures with the students. We do case-based learning. We do hands-on learning. And then we get into the lab and actually do the work that we are going to be doing further on in our careers. And kind of struggle for a while with finding these parasites and then suddenly it clicks and they say, hey, that's that's Giardia. That's to me is the, the most exciting part or the most rewarding part is seeing their excitement. But if you don't have this, you know, really strong desire to make an impact and to make these changes, it's gonna be very easy to, to give up and to quit. But if you have that passion, the really strong desire and Knowing that you know the difference that you make may not be immediately obvious, but maybe someday down the line it can it can make a difference. That can really help a student go when the you know going gets tough. Houston is the tip of the spear of what the rest of the country is is like. And with that, though, we have this diverse spectrum of illness and, and disease, and and that's a reason why we created the National School of Tropical Medicine in Houston. We actually have endemic tropical infectious diseases here in Texas and the Gulf Coast. We have viruses transmitted by mosquitoes, such as West Nile virus and, and dengue and chikungunya virus. We, and people need to understand that because too often we portray this as, or, as diseases that come across our southern border through immigration. And while partly that's true, overwhelmingly we have transmission within the United States with the Texas in the Gulf Coast because of, of those links with poverty. I'm Alexa Moldenhauer and I am a rising sophomore with Baylor University. I am concentrating in environmental studies and biochemistry with my USCOL degree plan 
and I wanted to come to the Tropical Medicine and Summer Institute because I'm really interested in learning about global health. I'm Alize Mohamed. I am a medical humanities major. I'm a rising junior and my motivation for coming, I've always had an interest in global health and advocacy and education in terms of making sure people understand like what diseases are prevalent in the area that they live in and so this was a great opportunity for me to even begin learning about the diseases. My name is um, Enrique Martinez. I'm going to be a senior. I'm a new school major. I'm doing my concentrations in biochemistry and philosophy because I'm getting ready to apply to medical school this year so I'm just trying to see the variety that exists in healthcare and seeing like what other options are also available. I found like the specialty in the parts of healthcare that I really want to work to impact and that happens to be global health and advocacy and education and so I think college has helped me find this passion that I can fine-tune within the healthcare field. Initially I actually wanted to be a vet so growing up from elementary school to middle school, I was I love animals and I really love the environment. So I felt the best way for me to serve the community was through animals. So then I went to high school and I learned more about what physicians do and I really wanted to help people. So I thought that becoming a physician would be the best line of work for me. The learning has been in a seminar style based classes. So we have physicians and PhDs and other scientists coming to talk to us about parasitology, epidemiology, climate change and how that kind of intercedes with like human health and environmental health. Because these are like highly skilled doctors, PhD, master's degree. They are so confident in the research that they're doing and they want us to learn and they want us to ask questions and so the ability to ask questions and their openness to see things from different different perspectives and to like kind of understand where we're coming from as students. Research and actually treating people is, is, is actually a lot more closer and tied together than I had initially thought. You definitely keep an open mind about everything that's available available to you because there's so many disciplines of medicine, of science, or of other work you want to do. So first of all, it's okay to try something and it not work out because then you at least tried it and now you know that that's not something you want to do. But try and find as many opportunities as you can. Like look through the websites, browse through them over the summer, email professors that you might be like interested in working with. If you're an incredibly curious person and you love learning about different cultures and different diseases and how other people are being impacted outside and within the United States, this is the perfect program for you.